John Deere, and Massey Ferguson. Oh man, there's gonna be a lot of happy people today. Yo, what's going on everybody? DJ Goham here. Welcome back to the channel and welcome to new mods for Farming Simulator 19. Today we got 27 mods for you for all platforms. We got 15 new and 6 updates, one of which is new for console. Plus, we've got 4 new and 2 updates for PC and Mac players. Let's check them out. Let's start off today with new mods for all platforms and we start with the Massey Ferguson 135 by Peter J. That is right. One of the most requested mods is back, and let's check it out. So we start with 45 horsepower, 48 liters of fuel, 21 miles per hour, one of the best tractor sounds you'll ever hear. Rim color, we've got red, and we've got white as well. Let's go back to the uh, silver, rather. Design color, we have white and black. Now, I can't figure out exactly what that's changing. Uh-huh, never mind, I got that. That is the exhaust pipe, so that's going to be either a white or a black exhaust pipe down at the bottom. That's pretty cool. Options, we have standard. We have a front guard, we have a weight frame, 200 kilogram weight, or back to standard again. Version type, we have the shell type fenders, we have the flat top fenders, we have a cab option, oh, <laughs> and then we have back to the shell type fenders. Headlights, we have standard headlights, we have side headlights, back to standard there, wheel setups here. We have a standard wheel, we have wheel weights, we've also got wide tires, we've got rear twin wheels, narrow tires, and back to standard again. Front attacher, no or yes, so you do have a front attacher on there. And then engine setups. You got the 135, which is going to give you 45 horsepower. You also have the 135 multi-power. Now, <laughs> this isn't going to give you any more horsepower. So you kind of choose basically which sticker you want on the bottom of that. How cool is that? It's pretty sweet. Let's jump in here. Let's see, is there anything that we could do? Well, not a whole lot. Actually, there's nothing we could do. But one thing we can do is get this guy to start up. Right there at the end, you saw the John Deere 4500. That's exactly what we are going to go to next. This is the first official John Deere telehandler that has come to Farming Simulator 19 for all platforms. We got some multiple tire options through here. We got 100 horsepower, 140 liters of fuel, 18 miles per hour. And this is actually a very large telehandler, quite massive to so be able to do whatever you need to do with this. Wheel brands, we have Midas tires, which look great on there. We also have Michelin. In Michelin, we have a standard and a multi-purpose tire. In Trailabor, we have a standard, a wide tire, and a multi-purpose tire. And in Nokians, we have a communal, and we have a wide communal tire. Again, back to Midas right through here. Very good looking piece of equipment right here. And uh, let's just choose this bad boy, because I know a lot of people use this piece of equipment right here. So let's pop over to it. And let's show you that, well, <laughs> maybe it's not as big as I thought it was. It's pretty normal size, never mind. It did look to be much larger. It still seems like it is. Maybe it's just because it sits higher up, but you could definitely get an idea of the size through here. If we jump in, there's really not a whole lot to this. We can raise and lower, do what you need to do there in and out, all the good stuff. And then we have all wheel steering, front wheel steering only, crab steer left and crab steer right. Otherwise, it's pretty normal, pretty standard. It does have a, uh, Tractor triangle in the back for those of you that are um, here in the States or other other ways around the world that use the tractor. 
Uh, triangle. Well, there you go. What do you guys think? I like it. I dig it. Next new mod for all platforms today is going to be the Case IH Puma CVX Tier Number 3 by STV Modding. So, right here, $178,000 at least to start with, but we can increase that. So, let's do so. Starting off, says 225 horsepower, but I think it's a little bit less than that. Well, we'll find out. Uh, rim color. Hey, oh, we got a bunch of rim colors through here. Whatever you like, choose it. You're good to go. Main color, you've got all of the standard colors that you're used to seeing, which is very nice. You've got that chrome, red matte, whatever you like, go for it, man. Design color, similar things through here. This is going to change up a couple pieces. Looks like in the grill, those inserts, as well as your wheel arch over the back. So that is pretty cool. Or you can change that up to black. Black actually looks really good, but we'll change that up to the front. Wheel brands, we have Trelleborg, Michelin, Midas tires, Nokian, and back to Trelleborg. In that Trelleborg, we have a standard. We have a wheel weight, wide tires, wides with weights, narrow tires, rear twins, twins all the way around, back to standard. In Michelin, we have a standard tire. We have a wide tire, wides with weights, and back to standard. Midas, nothing going on there. Nokian, nothing going on there. Interior design, we have a black design. We have a red design, so you go back and forth between those. The black is kind of a tan and black, whereas the red just changes the seat and then everything on the inside goes to gray. I actually prefer this look. We're going to keep it with that design standard. And then we have a platinum edition. That platinum edition is going to change a few things. We get a nice little racing stripe down the front of the bonnet. And then we have a chrome exhaust and then engine setups through here, 220. 252 269 270 and back down so you do have a 270 horsepower engine put in here making this pretty darn hefty now dj don't we have a bunch of <laughs> bunch of pumas yeah yeah we do we we have we have a few uh <laughs> puma cvx right there you can see we got a couple now this is the tier four which has a little bit more horsepower i believe um but otherwise you know <laughs> Case fans are spoiled for opportunity right now. Love it. Next up, we've got a new mod pack and a new brand for Farming Simulator 19. This is the Loma ZDK1802 pack by Vertex Design. Leave it up to those guys to do some of the most detailed trailers we've ever seen. These things are insane. So we get three of these. We get the ZDK1802. We get the Combi and the Uni. DJ, what's different about these? Well, let's check it out and find out. So we start with the 1802, the standard trailer. $70,000 design, 600 millimeter, 800 millimeter. So this is going to uh, increase from 17,000, 19,600. And then we have a 17,000 with the auger. And then we have the 19.6 with an auger. We also have a bell loading trailer as well, which is pretty cool. We'll set up standard wide tires, communal back to standard cover. Yes, we have the platform or you can have all of those. Man, these things look good over here. In the combi, we have wheel setup standard. So we have the same stuff there, and then we have the same top. However, with this one, there is nothing on the side. So this will unload uh, over via the side. If you can kind of see the doors hanging off right there. And then something very standard right here with the Uni 19,200 liters. You have a trailer setup, trailer transport, which is very, very cool. So you can change that up. You've got that. Uh, trying to figure out trailer transport. What does that mean? Hmm. Well, interesting. Nonetheless, uh, design tra trailer, you can put the cover on there if you wish. You've also got the overblow protection if you're doing silage, so you're good there. Beautiful trailers, beautiful setup by none other than Vertex Design. Next new mod for all platforms today is the Grimmy GH4. This is a weeder. It's going to require 70 horsepower, has a three meter working width at seven miles per hour. Price is going to be $15,000. Now, you guys are probably familiar with Grimmy being with sugar beets and potatoes. This has nothing to do with that. This is simply just a weeder at the end of the day. Got a new round bailer for you. This is the Kuhn FB3135, 4,000 liter round bales. Has a 68 horsepower requirement and goes 12 miles per hour. This is, well, pretty cool because we don't have, at least to my knowledge, I think we have Coon round balers, but we don't have one quite like this. Really like this. This looks very good. Again, the Coon FB3135 for 56 grand. Next new mod is the Duvelsdorf Transport Box HD. Now, what is this exactly? Well, hooks up 
VM, a three-point hitch, you see that right there. This is the new uh, updated model, it's ideal for agriculture or forestry, contractors or municipalities with a width of 1.8 meters and an internal volume of 1100 liters. Tools, seeds, canisters, or other utensils can be transported. Now, does that mean we can load this up? Very unlikely. Let's uh, let's find ourselves something right here. Hey, this will work perfect. Let's go ahead and just pick that up. Put it on the other side. Sorry, Peter. Let's go ahead and put that there. And do, do, do. Probably lost a few people at this point. That's all right. So we got it hooked up. And let's see. Let's open the cover. All right. That's pretty cool. So you can open the cover. That is nice. And that is about it. There's really nothing else to this. Can we fill it up with something? Let's take a look and see. No. So you can fill this up with anything. So you're going to need to load in uh, little things. Like if you got a seed bag, something like that, that's what this is going to be ideal for. Of course, we couldn't make it through a day without a Polish mod. This is the modern Polish house. This is going to cost you 62,250 bucks. It is seasons ready. As you can tell, it's a very nice house. It's Polish house. <laughs> we got a couple. Next up, we have the old shed for bells. This is a pack of old sheds for bells. The shed is going to cost you $30,000 with $15 per day upkeep. And the double carport is going to cost you $50,000 with a daily upkeep of $25 per day. They're both seasons ready. For those of you that like to have your own diesel on your farm, but don't like to have to keep paying for it. Well, this is going to be great for you. The diesel tanks by JJ. These tanks need to be filled. They can store 100,000 liters liters of diesel fuel, lights for night work, price is going to be $25,000 daily upkeep, 50 bucks per day. And do I love this? Absolutely. I love this. This is great. How is this going to be helpful? Well, for those of you, maybe you've got a gas tank on the farm, but you know, it costs money every time you do it. If you want a little bit more realism, throw this in. Next up, we have the metal sheds back by OR Modding. This is going to cost you $18,000 has a daily upkeep of 12 bucks per day. If you like to be able to refuel your vehicles, however you like, but like to have your own land on your farm home, this might be for you. The old fuel tank by gamer hs or hzs it's gonna cost you 3500 bucks daily upkeep ten dollars per day it is seasons ready and has night lighting as well next new mod for all platforms is the rtk station small on a stick oh this is a smaller version of the rtk station for precision farming that increases the helper's speed it consists of only a pole in a box for the electronics and the antenna you need to have precision farming dlc activated to use this mod this is awesome. I love this. Our next to last new mod for all platforms today is the Pallet Lattice Box, a reusable pallet lattice box for potatoes and beets. The mesh box can be filled with a shovel, conveyor, or combine harvester at a or, uh, and at cell stations. Uh, you've also got an empty for moving it over the trigger or trailer for unloading these cell points. That is pretty, pretty cool. Capacity, 2,000 liters. Holds potatoes or sugar beets, just like I said. This is going to cost you 50 bucks, and if you have the uh, the bulk purchase mod for PC, you'll be able to buy multiple at the same time. You can find this in the shop under tool, or uh, stuff, objects, and in pallets. Goodness gracious. And your last new mod for all platforms today is the reusable wool pallet. This is reusable as seven different configurations. We'll take a look at those. So the small, this is going to be eight, there are 6,000 liters right there. Medium, 8,000 liters. Large, 10,000. Extra large, 12,000. 16, 32, and 64. You heard that right. 64,000 liter wool pallet why would you want this well maybe <laughs> you don't like 1000 liter wool pallets in game this is going to be good for you place this down in your wool point for your sheep and then let it fill up so what's that total 64 128 times two <laughs> multiples of these yo did this just break the game Miss EB, I think you just broke the game with this mod. That's awesome. This is also going to be found in pallets. Making our way into mod updates for all platforms. First, we have the placeable buying stations. This is going to be version 1.002. Added the ability to toggle, tri toggle trigger markers on and off. Remove the duplicate fill types and all in one silos. Increase the fill rate on the silos and console compatibility. Oh, console players can now use these. The best place about these is 
you can buy things at half the price. It's not the cheapest in the world, but it's still cheaper than you normally would buy. All you got to do is take one of these, place it down, and you are good to go. Um, with this right here, so you've got an all-in-one. This is going to give you a lot of different stuff, or you could do them individually. So you can do chaff, chicken feed, fertilizer, ga or grass, sorry, horse feed, uh, which is going to be oats, lime, pig feed. You have a salt station, which is only going to work in seasons. If you don't have seasons installed, well, <laughs> don't worry about putting it down. You'll be all right. Seed station, silage station, straw, TMR. So you got all kinds of stuff through here. Very cool. Oh, yeah. And the update. Oh, I already read the update. How about that? Let's move on. <laughs> Making our way into mod updates for all platforms. We start with the Lizard Slurry Tank 2700. This is going to be changelog 1.1. Change the decals to Lizard, new wheels, new effect, and 3D model fixes. Next up, we have the Case IH Magnum US Series. This is going to be version 1.2. Adjusted multiple wheel configurations and updated the description version to 53. I will tell you now, this removed 3D tracks. So if you have this mod installed and you want to keep the 3D tracks, I would just not bother. So you can see here, we've got Trailerborg Quad Track Wide. Well, I've also got the old version here as well. If we go in here, you can see I still have my 3D tracks on there. So uh, if you want to keep it, great, but they have been removed. And the same thing goes for the Case IH AFS Connect Magnum, also by Carl Farms. This is going to be version 1.3, adjusted multiple wheel configurations, and updated description version 253, aka removed the 3D tracks. So again, if you want to keep the 3D tracks, if you're on PC, well, pretty easy to do that. If you're on console, just don't update. That's my 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 two cents on that one. If you want to keep them, don't update. If you update, you will not be getting those 3D tracks back. Next to last mod update for all platforms is the Massa. This is going to be version 1.001. Added the function to sow seeds. That is right. So you can sow seeds. Now that, of course, is going to be in cedars down there. Yes, cedars. Ha ha. Yeah, here it is. The Massa Drill. Hey, seed drill Massa. 600 liters do wheat, barley, oats, canola, soybeans, cover crop, and grass. It's really cool, man. Yeah. At your last mod update for all platforms today is going to be the Agco NG1100. This is going to be version 1.2.1. Ayo. New specular wares. New, uh, or fix some bugs are done. Details are there. It's all good. <laughs> Goodness, it's too early. Making our way into new mods for PC and Mac players. We start with a new map, the Islands of Denmark, FIMO. Welcome to the romantic farming island of FIMO. In this Farming Simulator 19 mod map, you will be faced with logistical, min managerial, <laughs> and planning and budget challenges as you forge the land in your farming empire. Note, this map has no activated index fields for contracts. So do keep that in mind. The map features ample space for field creation and building placement, many beautiful views, two cell points, one animal husbandry, one wool cell point, one temporary fuel station. All items are imported to the barge store area, which you can see down at the bottom of the screen right now. That's what you get a new farmer as well. No complaints here. Uh, one used farm feature. You've got the farmhouse, several haylofts, several sheds, and multiple locations. Silage bugger, cow pasture with cows, sheep pasture with sheep. Pig pen with bacon seeds. <laughs> I love that. Chicken couples with chickens. A hey, several silos. Note the mod zip contains the originally planned fields. If you're familiar with editing maps, you may import the fields nml.i3d into the map and save it. This will activate 86 fields. The map is loosely based and inspired by the real island of Fimo. Contributors are none, and required mods are none. Ba boom baby. Oh, what do you get when you start a new farmer? Everything. Kind of kind of everything almost. Uh let's see as you can see we got a bunch of stuff. So we get a John Deere 8 or 6R. We get a Valtra T, a case quad track, Challenger MT, that's the big one right there, 646 horsepower. Uh you've also got the New Holland T9, 550 horsepower version. You get a case Magnum with the big engine, you get a John Deere 8R not with the big engine. We have Ultra S Series, Road Runner, <laughs> Agco Ideal, 9T, by the way. You get a Case IH 9240. You get a Case Cotton Harvester. You get a Scorpion King, Buffalo. You get the Star of Imperator, the New Hunt. I'm just going to stop reading them. Look at this. Look at this. Look at this. <laughs> Look at all the things. There's so much stuff. Of course, you have all your animal paddocks through here as well. 
You've got silos, you've got extensions, all kinds of stuff going on through here. So yeah, you get a lot of stuff. Let's take a look at the PDA. Let's take a look and see what do we get here. Well, I believe at the end of the day, this is probably a 4X map. May even be larger than that. As you can see, just this chunk right here costs about $4.6 million. Um, and the outside of the map cost $9 million. This is an absolutely massive map. Even these smaller areas right here, $300,000, $400,000, dollars $700,000. So you've got a lot going on right here. They mentioned that there were no contracts. If we go in here, refresh contracts, no contracts available. So it is what it is right through there. Huge map. This is neat. Next new mod for PC and Mac players today is going to be the Record Silage. This is an old silage wagon. It's made in Belgium's version is already an older one for smaller tractors price fifty eight thousand five hundred dollars capacity forty thousand liters wheel brands we have trailer board we also have michelin on here as well in trailer board we have standard tire and a wide tire standard wide michelins we have standard and wide and junky road tire something like that Deep. either way very very cool this is a silage trailer so it's only going to hold those chaff products your next to last new mod for pc and mac players today is going to be the cyberhorn pack with this one we get a couple silage shields as well as a weight uh let's take a look so we start with the leveler 300 the design well nothing changed so let's take a look at this that is the extension on there that's gonna change between red and chrome out or aluminum steel something like that either way three meter worker with there over here we also have a three meter worker with but it's definitely not that is way more than three meters uh same thing through here we've got the exact same setup and we finish it off with a weight this is a three thousand kilogram weight this would definitely work great doing silage things like that also has a trailer hitch so you'll be able to move things around if you need to and your last new mod for pc and mac player says the mountable attacher with this mod you can mount universal attacher to all vehicles and implements so you can attach trailer to vehicle with no attacher or attacher type trailer trailer low and implement you can attach multiple trailers and implements together useful for quick transportation of things you can move the attacher so it fits to any vehicle default controls are the left alt q that will mount and unmount the attacher left alt kp four and six moves it uh moves the attacher that is going to be moving it left to right eight and five will move it up and down and lateral movements will be seven and nine. How's about that? I love that. And lastly, Jay, making our way into mod updates for PC and Mac players, we start with Pineapple Bay. I love Pineapple Bay. This is going to be changelog 1.1.0.1. Multi-terrain angle has been added. They have increased the density height type for Maze Plus users. Farms have been reworked. Collisions on the gas station has been fixed. Landscape redesigned. Silo collisions have been optimized. And new required mods are going to be Machinery Shed, Grain Silo System, System and grain storages pack. And lastly, today, the last mod is Polsai. This is going to be changed log 1.001. Added painting of grass and shrubs. Pond water uptake has been added. Fix the bug with alfalfa mowing. Ryan Triticale mowing animations have been fixed. Well, guys, that is going to be it for today. I hope you enjoyed today's mod video. If you did, make sure you drop a like on it. Get subscribed to the channel if you're new. And join the GoHam fam. Make sure you turn your notification bells on as well so that you never miss daily farming simulator videos here on the channel. If you are curious, there were a couple mods that were removed. Uh, most notably, the Big Bag Pack for PC. If you were able to get that, great. Uh, if I can find out why that was removed, I will talk about that in today's Farm Sim News. All being said, hope you have a great day. We'll see you later. Peace.